Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Donnie's Donut here. Welcome to Season 15 Playoffs. We're finally here. It starts off with the Canadian Tires versus the defending cup champs, Moscow Goons, who won the President's Trophy once again. As welcome to Teletubbies Place with the first game of the playoffs and the Moscow Goons. I mean, they even ha they might have a better team than last the last two seasons. Here we go with the playoffs. Sockum back at it again. And now he's trying to bring that puck in. Earl now in front. Can't get it loose in front. And they're already getting on it. As now Diane Chafe brings it up there as the Canadian Tar has just made the playoffs with their new acquisition. Jared Keeping and Colby Ryan. Obviously, two great players, obviously. Now, here comes Jared Keeping. And now he's got it now. He's trying to cycle that around here. As this is going to be an uphill battle here for the Canadian Tires. Is going to, because this team is so good. As Now, Ryan steals a shoot. Scores! Oh, my! He snipes one already. And the Canadian Tires score first. Oh my, and now the Goons play from behind here to start the Season 15. As right over the blocker, what a snipe. Man. And so, the Stars, or the, the Goons, need to just try and find the right foot here. Obviously, they usually start off slow, and they usually build up momentum here. Obviously, they have such a great team. They have Rock'em Sock'em. And Alex Earl, too, who really came into his own this year. He he uh, broke out into a superstar, scoring over 70 goals with so Sock'em, obviously. As now, trying to get back in and now as as he was Rock'em's Sock'em's wingman the whole season long scotty gordon trying to feed that back door in front now loose where's the puck as still battling there sockham's got it now earl now back and now headman walking the line one timer deflected just why now the goons are all over him here as now sockham now in front earl what a chance saved by jamie Oh my, what a save by Jamie there. As now Scotty Gordon's got that now with Earl going to the net. As Ryan with the good steal, but he loses it. As now Wayne Chafe with the puck. In comes Chafe as the, the big boy in defense. And now he's got it. Now shooting that stop by Steve Mason. As in comes Sockham the other way now with a bit of room. What a spinorama. He's in shoots. As he's looking for that first goal of the playoffs. As now they got it now. Headman to Gordon. Spinorama still got it. As still holding on to it. As hit off the puck. In comes Diane Chafe with a chance. Shoots. That stop by Steve Mason. Now Ben Conroy's got it. Another new acquisition for this team. Poked away by Earl. And now Earl may be off to the races here. In on Chafe. Over scores. Oh my, what a play by Alex Earl to, to kind of fake the defenseman and the goaltender. And Tom Wilson was wide open. And he scores the first goal for the Goons this playoffs. As obviously he scored the cup winner last season. And he gets the first goal for the Moscow Goons here in game number one. As, as now, as oh my, down is... Diane Chafe there after a big hit by Scotty Gordon as the fans are alive here in this game one. As Sorry guys if you don't hear any volume. I don't know what happened with the volume this one. So there's going to have to be no volume. What a shot but a save there. Now in comes Sockham had a chance. And now Conroy up through neutral zone. Gets through. Now keeping in. Shoots. That's blocked there. And now beyond the net now. And trying to bring that up front but he can't as now got it up as Sockham barrels through in comes Sockham now with a chance oh my can't get through as now battling there Sockham in front another save by Jamie there on Sockham but as oh my what a chance and now Scotty Gordon's gonna bring it back to his own zone 
And now back they come and recharge. Alex Earl with speed in front. Another great save. Sockham with a bunch of chances. Can't get a goal here. And now Ryan, but taken by Victor Hedman now. As gets it up there. Here comes Earl with speed. Sockham in front. Oh, Earl couldn't bury it. A wide open net. And now Ryan the other way. Colby Ryan now behind the net. As he was looking for Michigan, I believe. But he couldn't get a good... Uh, angle to do it at and now back Earl with the steal in comes and now Earl trying to feed Sockham on the wing as obviously they built for speed both of them obviously uh, Sockham and Earl are some fast players here they come shoots as stopped there by Jamie as they're having trouble with it obviously the Canadian Tars they just made the playoffs but now they got to play a great Goons team, obviously. And now Ryan, now in front, Earl oh, keeping. Oh, what a chance of what a save on Jerry keeping there. And now up comes Earl with speed. Alex, Earl fakes as couldn't get back there as now they got it up. Oh, stolen as Conroy's got it now, but that's offside. As what a chance there. As 2.08 left in this first period. Obviously, the uh, Goons and Canadian Tars are tied at one. Oh, my, that took a funny bounce and kind of fooled the goaltender. It could have went in there, but uh, it didn't, obviously. Now, Chafe back to get it up to keeping. Now, Diane Chafe can't get through as now up comes. And now, a break for Rockham. Sockham! Oh, what a save! Sockham gets stopped again! And when now Sockham got the puck back, Sockham in, shoots just wide as the goons are on the attack again, but couldn't get it six seconds to go. One last chance for the goons here, shoots that stopped 1.5 seconds left here in this first period. Empty net for the goons here, trying to do everything to uh, get a goal here. And one there with it. Gotta be quick. Shot stopped by Jamie. The second period better be on the way. As the Canadian Tars, it was a good period for them. Obviously, they got dominated, but they kept the score tied. As we'll see what happens here, though. As the defending cup champs want this goal. And now two on one. Sockham in. Shoots another great save. Sockham's getting robbed here. As now beyond the net. As now behind the net is Earl. As battling there on, on the corner. As they got it out. And yes, they do. Conroy can't get the puck out. And now Sockham's got to shoot. So went off his own man there. As now up they come. And now a chance for... Wayne Chafe stop shoots that stop there as one of his his best trait is his shot he has a wicked shot and now up comes Scotty Gordon who has a wicked shot as well probably the hardest shot in the league as now through is Chafe and now he comes through shooting off the mask as now Earl's got it up to suck him here they come now Wilson in front oh my what a chance as now Wilson's got it now. Tom Wilson down to Sockham. Sockham trying to pry that through. Oh my. Earl almost did. As that's a big hit there. As just offside there was uh, Sockham. As he shot after the whistle here. As they did not like that. As here we go here. Oh my. You give him a shot afterwards. As this could be a rough series. Obviously, the goons usually rough their team, uh, rough the other team up. Obviously, they have a chance to go back to back here. As that's their goal. Obviously, Sockham said it before the game. As now Sockham shoots, says that's a stop there. And now loose in front of the net. Sockham as now Ch Diane Chafe clears that puck. And now Ryan wins the foot race. Can't get by. Scotty Gordon, and now Sockham has speed. In comes Sockham and scores! Finally, Sockham finds the back of the net between the legs, and the Goons take a 2-1 lead. The new captain of the Moscow Goons, obviously. Scotty Gordon wanted to give his leadership to Rockham Sockham after the last few years. 
he felt he was ready to be a captain of uh he says his team obviously as so he is the captain this year and so yeah we'll see what he does with his leadership one timer from Wayne Chase, that's wide. And now Scotty Gordon with a bit of open ice. Gordon in, backhander, stop there. As now, oh my, gave it up to no, as he gave it up there. Scotty Gordon walking the line, walking in, shoots loose in from the net. Earl's got it, loose, still, hurl, oh my goodness. And now the goons are all over him here. Has... They dump it in now. In come the Canadian Tars now. Beyond the net is now back up high. Wayne Chafe. Po oh, shoots. That's gloved away there. It looked like he might have got poked away there. Trying to feed the front. What a good job by Tom Wilson. And now a chance for the goons. In comes Sockham now. Between the legs again. He scores. As Earl got the goal. As it looked like uh, Scott Sockham got up. But I don't think it matters for them. As the goons have a 3-1 lead, as they found a way to get past. I think Earl might have got a, just a nick of it, and uh, and it went over the line. And so the goons score three straight here, and are up 3-1 to one here in game one. As now battling along the corner, as, oh, bad pass there. Up comes Ryan. That's poked away by... And now here comes Sockham in. Sockham fakes in. Oh, my. Almost got it there. Wilson with the steal. As this period has been all Moscow. Goons here. And now in comes Ben Conroy now. Conroy shooting. That's blockered away there. Keeping. Oh, stolen. Oh, what a glove save by Steve Mason. Another steal. Ryan in. Stop. by. Steve Mason, oh, a few bad turnovers, and that's all the way on net. As good hit by Wayne Chafe there. Obviously, he is a a rough, he's a tough customer. Now two on one, keeping and Ryan shooting. That's stopped by Steve Mason again. As now Earl's got the puck with speed. Alex Earl alone scores. Alex Earl with his second of the night has makes a four one goons. In the second period, 4.36 left in the second, as now they got a Scotty Gordon with a big hit there, as now they, as the goons have been dominating this whole game and this second period mostly. Obviously, after the Kane Tars got the first goal, they couldn't find anything else, as they're just trying to find everything on net. Wayne, uh, Diane Chafe shoots, rebound, that stop there, trying to get one back at least, but they can't do it, now flipped up, and now it's a foot race, as, oh my, as Sockham is not happy about that icing call, he felt he won that race, and it looked like he did, obviously the shots are pretty close, but most of the Canadian Tar shots have been caught from the outside, so they need to try and find s some, uh, the front of the net as that shot that's blocked. As now Wilson's got that puck up to Sockham. He's going to try and build speed. He's in scores as he got it around and makes it 5 1 Goons. His second of the night now. As assisted by Tom Wilson. Obviously, man, they are running away with this one. I tell you. As look at that, as re really quickly they are running away with this game. Obviously, they have been so good at home all season long and last few seasons as well. As they've been so good at home, and now Scotty Gordon with the steal. Gordon has the puck in the zone now. This has just been a one sided affair this whole game. As now trying to spin it. Spin Spin off the checking there. They couldn't. And now Mason all the way out. As, oh boy, they almost miscommunicated there. As that's flipped all the way up. But Earl is offside. Just offside. They tried the flip play, but it just didn't work. Obviously, nine seconds to go in this second period. And battling there. Wilson brings it up for five seconds left. As Earl, maybe one last chance. No, and that's going to do it for the second.
as we get set for the third and final period of this game one. The Goons comfortably in front here. Has looked like they're going to run away with this one. As that shot flipped up ahead and icing called already. As so, will the Goons win this game here? Uh, it looks like they will. As barring some miracle, the Canadian Tars can mount up four goals against the best team in the league right now. As Tom Wilson trying to find Sockham Ryan right there. As obviously Sockham has a break. In comes Sockham, gets tripped up. And that's going to be a penalty shot on for Rockham Sockham. As Wayne Chafe tripped him in desperation. And so Sockham gets a penalty shot. As for the hat trick, Rockham Sockham in on Jamie, the goaltender. And between the legs, stopped by Jamie there. S denies him of the hat trick for now, at least. 18.43 left in this third. As just started this third period, they win the draw. One timer! Oh my glove save there. As that was right at his glove. As now they got a here comes Headman now. Up trying to feed Sockham, just out of reach. And now behind the net now, Wilson's get that puck. And now Sockham between the legs, loose in front, it gets it back. Sockham working the team, has now still got it. Sockham just, wow, he's all, all over him himself, all trying to wrap that around. And a penalty, he draws a penalty, and the goons will go on the power play. That shows what kind of rough player Rockham Sockham is. He is just such a great player. Probably the best player in the league right now. Probably already has a Hall of Fame career. Obviously, after that Cup win last season, as now they go in the they go on the power play here, as that's just down the ice there. As now Hedman's got it up, and now Sockham with the puck. In comes Rockham Sockham with speed. What a play there! As to, I guess they just luckily got that there because Sockham would have been gone. And now in, they come and now it. Numbers here as now Scotty Gordon Wilson scores, but they wave it off. As look like it might have been goalie interference here. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Scotty Gordon, yep, they interfered with him, and so it's going to be no goal. The goons obviously get their power play back, and so yeah, now flips it to Earl, and now Alex Earl got it back. As Scotty Gordon got that puck. Gordon now spin, trying to spin and spin there. And now Earl got that puck. And now they set it up. Trying to feed it over. Scotty Gordon to Earl. Now in front scores. As the puck just kept finding him. Even he tried to pass it. And Alex Earl has the hat trick in game one here. First playoff game with the goons. And hat trick. And gets a hat trick. Wow. As so, the goons up six to one here. Their first power play goal. As they are really just running away with this one now. As Comroy brings that puck up, trying to get something here, maybe. As now Ryan cycles that back down low. And now Jerry keeping up high, poked away. And now maybe a chance here for Earl and Sockham. Sockham in. Ben scores, and he gets the hat trick as Sockham used Earl as a decoy and brought it in himself, and it's a 7-1 Goons lead. 13.44 left in this third period, and yet they are just running away with this one now. As now... As stolen again, a two-on-one, as they have chased Jamie out of the net. And now Morgan Moutry, who play, normally plays on the Blasters, had to come over. And now Alex Earl and Colby Ryan. Oh, what a one-punch, Alex Earl. Oh, my goodness, as, as that knocked him out. And Alex Earl goes to the bench with everybody, or goes to the box with everybody on their feet. Here, what a first game for the Moscow Goons.
like I said, Morgan Moutry, who who scheduled his game one against uh, the Nova Scotia Trailer Park Boys tomorrow, as ob- or a few days from now, as so he had to come to Moscow today to play his backup, obviously for the Canadian Tars, and he has to come in the game here because they're just beat, getting beat down so bad by the Moscow Goons in front. Oh my! As now they get it up, in comes James Neal rocks. Hi, Victor Hedman there. And now Ryan Reeves out with the puck. In comes Ryan Reeves as he tries to fall in the back of the net. Now stock him back door. They score. It's Ryan Reeves. 8-1 goons here in game one. Man, they are just showing why they are such a dominant team. Man. And so the goons up 8-1 here. As now Wayne Chafe gets it up, and now Diane Chafe trying to find something here. Obviously, it's looking bleak here for the Canadian Tars. And this playoff run, Sockham, stopped by Morgan Moutry. As now, big hit on Ben Conroy there. And now Sockham with speed, trying to get through. He does. And now Hedman gets through, as can't beat the goaltender there. Man, as... He is just such a great player. Like I said, a hat trick in game one here. Obviously, three assists for Sockham as well. And so, behind the net now, James Neal finds out front as that's stopped there again by Steve Mason. As now they got it now. In comes Rockham Sockham now with it. Sockham with the puck. Speed. Ball, what a move. He scores as they wave that one up as well as... We'll see what's the verdict here. Is it goalie interference again? As no, it might be just kicking motion. This goal might count. We'll see. As yeah, we'll see. And it's a good goal. Sock him with his fourth of the night. His fourth of the night. Assisted by Steve Mason, just took it himself. It is nine one in game one. Wow, the Canadian Tars are really getting beat down this game. And so Wayne Chafe brings that puck in, trying to get something maybe as trying to go short side. Can't do it. Alex Earl brings that up for the Goons. As just offside as Sockham look for his fifth of the night. Obviously, look for another dominant playoff run. Obviously, won the Conn Smite Trophy last season. Uh... Yeah, and won the Consumite Trophy last season. And he could have won the year before if they just had won that game five against the Houdans. Obviously, they lost in five games last season. Or this, not last season, the season before that. As they got the revenge last season. Now Earl trying to feed back to Sockham. As now they're just playing around with him. I mean, yeah. And now Conroy trying to get through. Ben Conroy now trying to... Oh, he's trying to Michigan there. Obviously, no, they're not going to win this game. Trying to do some good moves. And now a fight. Victor Hedman versus Jared Keeping. Oh, my, what a mismatch this might be. As now Keeping with a right. But now Hedman throwing in some. Oh, look at this. As now throwing in some rights. And Hedman wins that. Oh, my, this has been a rough game this whole playoff, this whole game one here. This is playoff hockey, I tell you. As Victor Hedman go- and Jared Keeping goes off for the rest of this game, obviously, Jared Keeping decided to throw on the, the cage this year. Obviously, uh, usually going with the visor, but this year he's going with the cage to change things up. So with 418 left, in this game one, mercifully for the Canadian Tars as they go back home for the game two, try and find something here against this team. Obviously, is looking bleak, like I said, as this might be a quick series. Obviously, quick two game series if they don't find it. Now, Andrew Getter out for now, loose him from the net, and now Ryan around the net. Colby Ryan cycles that back down low, but Sockham there to pick it up. As now in comes Alex Earl with speed. It, now Earl, he gets tripped up, and that's going to be a penalty on the Canadian tires here. As now got a one-timer. Oh, my, that's blocked. And a power play opportunity 
for Moscow. Diane Chafe goes off. Just trying to prolong the, the game here, it seems like. 133 left in this third period. One for one there on this power play. Scotty Gordon with a bullet as that stopped by Morgan Mutri. And now battling there. Oh my Chafe just uh as where's the puck here? Sockham gets it. No one knew where the puck was. And now loose in front of the net. Sockham trying to find it. As now Ryan gets drilled there. As now Oh my a hit there and now a fight between Juleson and Sockham. Here we go, another fight. And now Sockham throws a right. And now Juleson trying to hold his own, but he gets knocked down. Sockham wins the fight. As the goons are a perfect 3-for-3 three three in the fights. As you pretty much send them off to the dressing room now, really. Because 54 seconds left. Uh... What's the point, right? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Nine to one here, and now Earl brings it across in front! Scores, but it's waved off again. Oh my. Wasn't waved off for this time. Another goalie interference call. They should just let the clock run at this point. 46 seconds left. As now Scotty Gordon gets it across to Earl. And now Alex Earl in look for his fourth of the night. As looking for him and Sockham to have four goals. And now they got it there. In comes, oh, trying to move around them there. But he can't. And now up comes Scotty Gordon now with the puck. Wilson going to the net. As now Ryan gets that just down the ice. As Wilson got it. Up to Neal and now Conroy. As 15 seconds left here. Finally for the Canadian Tires here. As now gets it up. Eight seconds left. And now maybe one last chance there. Earl scores. And they get the tenth goal with five seconds left. Fourth of the night for Alex Earl. And the Goons will take a one nothing series lead at, at home here. Obviously this has been a long third period. But finally, it's over here. As, yes, five seconds left, obviously. As now, here we, oh my goodness, a fight to end this game. These guys have just been chirping uh, back and forth the whole game. As now, Conroy and Earl here, as, look out here, as now, maybe, this is a bit more even, but now Earl still prevails. He still prevails here in that fight. And so, what a game for Alex Earl and Rockham Sockham. Look at the penalty box. As they are still chirping in the penalty box there. Five seconds left. Four, and that's going to do it here for game number one of this series. Goons take a one nothing series lead. So, guys, I will see you in game two of this series.